In the shadow of World War II, Louis S. Goodman and Alfred Gilman were recruited by the U.S. government to answer an odd question. Could chemical weapons be used to combat diseases? Goodman and Gilman had a theory that mustard gas could treat cancer in certain types of cells. Long story short, in 1946, they found that a mustard gas-related compound reduced the size of tumors in a patient. It was the first successful human application of chemotherapy, which went on to help millions of cancer patients. It's also just one of many great examples of pharmacology's impact on the world. Pharmacology is the science of how drugs and other compounds interact with biological systems, from the molecule to the cell to the organ to the whole of you or your dog or any other living thing. It's critical to medicine, psychiatry, dentistry, veterinary science, and many other fields. From aspirin to antibiotics to acne medicine, pharmacology is at the heart of a range of crucial medical discoveries that improve everyday life. But let's get one thing out of the way. Pharmacology is often mixed up with pharmacy, which is an entirely separate discipline in the health sciences. Pharmacy uses the knowledge from pharmacology to come up with the best treatments through the dose and preparation of medicines. Got it? Okay, good. For thousands of years, people have known about the toxic and therapeutic effects of certain plants, animals, and minerals. Ancient Egyptian and Chinese writings represent the earliest collection of pharmacological knowledge. But the birth of modern pharmacology happened in the early 19th century with the work of Francois Majendi. Majendi's research on the famous poison strychnine clearly established that drugs and poisons must be absorbed into the bloodstream and carried to a site of action before they take effect. The work of Majendi and his colleagues helped establish some of the techniques and principles that drove the science of pharmacology, which had a massive impact in the 20th century. More than 20 pharmacologists received Nobel Prizes in this era for their discoveries of important drugs and neurotransmitters, among lots of other breakthroughs. In more recent years, a major contribution of pharmacology has been a better understanding of how drugs, hormones, and other compounds interact with cell surface receptors. These are important proteins that allow for communication between the cell and the outside world. This led to highly selective drugs with fewer side effects, reductions in infectious diseases, and even cures for certain types of cancers, the development of drugs for asthma, heart failure, pain relief, anxiety, and much more. Going forward, pharmacology is going to continue to push into exciting new frontiers. It could open the door to personalized medicine, where a drug treatment and dosage could be tailored to your genetics. Nanorobots could deliver drugs to hyper-specific targets in the body. Regenerative pharmacology could lead to the development of bioengineered and regenerating tissues. There are still many diseases that we don't know how to treat effectively. Types of cancer, autism, depression, and addiction, just to name a few. You could be part of the solution. Pharmacology and its related fields are going to be at the forefront of future treatments for many diseases. To learn more about pharmacology, head to aspet.org knowledge.